Ah, hello there, and welcome to the Creature Collection. As you and your party scale a tall mountain, you can hear the roar of a lion in the distance. And as you close in on the peak, other beasts join the fray. The bellows of the goat, the hiss of a serpent. You wonder, hmm, perhaps these belong to different creatures. But when you reach the summit, you're met with the truth. You've come face to face with the dreaded Chimera. A chimera is a Greek mythological she-beast that has animal traits of a lion, goat, serpent, or dragon, and she breathes fire. A brief history. Chimeras are arguably ancient Greece's most unusual creature. It is so odd that the term is used to describe anything that has a combination of different parts. At the most fundamental level, a chimera has the most features of a female lion. Oftentimes, the lioness is portrayed with a mane and an exaggerated bosom. The creature also has a goat's head, often portrayed as a male goat, having horns and a beard. And finally, the tail of the lion is a venomous serpent, or sometimes a dragon. The chimera was known for having a really rotten personality. She had a terrible temper and little to no civilized actions. She was known to ransack entire villages, destroying homes, killing livestock, and slaughtering people. The reason this creature was thought to be nearly invincible was due to her strength of a lion, cunning of a goat, and venom of a snake. However, her deadliest weapon was that the goat head could breathe fire. With her wild personality and aggressive nature, she was often thought of as an omen to natural disasters. The Chimera is said to be the offspring of Typhon and Echidna, two of the most ruthless creatures in mythology. She roamed the land and devastated villages until her battle with Bellerophon. Bellerophon is the son of Poseidon, an immortal woman. He was sent to Proteus. However, Proteus's wife accused him of an unforgivable crime. His punishment was to challenge the Chimera to a battle. Proteus thought for sure the Chimera would kill him. The twist of this story is that Bellerophon had a secret ally, his half-brother, the Pegasus. Together, they launched an aerial attack and critically wounded the Chimera. Finally, he threw a lead spear down the fiery throat of the goat, causing the metal to melt and distribute throughout the Chimera's body, burning her from the inside out. Even though the Chimera stems from Greek mythology, the earliest surviving reference to the Chimera is a brief description in Homer's Iliad. Nearly 3,000 years before the idea of the Chimera appeared in Greece, the Egyptians worshipped a war goddess named Sekhmet, who appeared as a fire-breathing lion. Although it is unknown if Sekhmet is the inspiration for the Chimera or not, it is important to know they are different creatures. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor A Prague art student named Karu has an interesting life. She has blue hair, speaks several languages, has three bullets in her stomach, and has been raised by creatures with human and animal features called Chimera. These are Brimstone, with lion legs and ram horns, Issa, with a snake's lower body, hood, and fangs, Twiga, with a giraffe neck, and Yasri, with a parrot beak, Kishmish, a crow with bat wings, acts as a messenger from Brimstone to Karu. Karu is sent on missions, often to gather teeth for brimstone. Although she does not know what they are used for and why there are certain rules such as no baby teeth and no rotting. In return, she gets wishes. The higher the price, the greater the wish. In American Dragon Jake Long, this animated series features a chimera in season two in the episode titled Dreamscape. The creature was trapped inside the mind of Professor Rotwood and was accidentally set loose by Jake. Jake and his friends managed to catch the Chimera after an epic battle, and set things right by putting the monster back in Rotwood's mind where it belongs. In Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, Cornell and Ortega are both man-beasts and rivals. Ortega receives new powers from Dracula, and wants to fight Cornell using his new powers. 
Ortega turns into a three-headed chimera for a boss battle. When he was defeated, he threw himself off the tower where his powers went haywire and he exploded. There are definitely ways to get around the restrictive descriptions of a chimera and still have the creature be recognizable as a chimera. Most representations of the chimera are considered female. However, they are a mashup of different parts, both male and female. So making a male character a chimera is acceptable if they have the other elements of what a chimera is in either personality or appearance. The three examples given, I chose to show the diversity of the usage of a chimera as a character. In Daughter of Smoke and Bone, the chimera are a variety of different animals mashed together, each with certain traits and personality points of the animals that are a part of them. In American Dragon, the chimera's appearance is more humanoid in a way, standing upright on its hind legs. However, it retained the ferociousness and animal features of a chimera. In Castlevania, the chimera boss is a male character. However, when Ortega changes into that form, he suits the appearance of having multiple animal parts like a chimera. When using the chimera in your own creations, don't be afraid to switch things up a bit. In some representations, the chimera has three heads, one for each creature. So you can take liberties with the abilities you give your character, like power and strength of the lion, the wit and stubbornness of the goat, and the venom and fire of the serpent. So have fun with what you want to give your character. What monster should we cover next? Find out next time at the Creature Collection.